Hello, this is Gemma from Making Faces and today I'm going to show you my DJ Hero face painting kit. I know quite a lot of you, I've been asking quite a lot of questions on the Facebook pages about the DJ Hero kits and are they any good for face painting, are they big enough, are they strong enough? I absolutely love mine so I thought I'd make a little video and show you mine and see how I use it. There's a carry handle on the front which you can carry it like so. It's not too heavy. There's also hinges at each side. And what I have done is use clips at back so that the legs pop on and off again. It means I can also use it as a table. So this is the outside, with the legs attached and fully extended. I like to stand up when I'm painting, so I like to have the legs fully extended, but if you do sit down, those legs do go down shorter, so it adjusts to any height really. Um, I'm fairly tall and I find it's tall enough for me, so that's good. Um, it's a plain black case. These flowers I've just decorated myself using acrylic paints. Um, it comes already with this handle attached which is quite strong, I haven't had any problems with it yet and it also already comes with these side hinges to hold the, uh, the lid on, closed. Um, to the back of the case I've attached some pretty heavy duty hinges here they don't have hinges to begin with I just got these hinges from B&Q and fitted those on it also has little feet so you can stand the case up on its side if you want to. I don't tend to do that, I tend to keep it this way up just in case something falls out. So let's move it around again. So that's the outside and let me just open it up. So we flick the hinges down. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, it's the dishwasher. And the lid opens up. Now I use string to hold it up. I had meant to get a chain or something to hold the case up but the string just works so well and if it isn't broke why fix it? So there's the strings holding it up. I've literally just looped the string around the hinges and then hoops onto the top part of the hinge up here. You got that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we open it up, and there's my beautiful case. So as you can see, I've got a shelf here. The DJ Hero case does already come with a shelf, but what I did is completely ripped out everything, all the foam, all the linings, everything. And what I did then uh, was coat it in this vinyl, all over on the inside as well. And I got that from eBay. What I've also done is made a little cutout shelf here just to keep things tucked behind. This is just made out of MDF and this actually comes inside the kit. What I've got here is a piece of pipe insulating foam to keep my brushes in. All I've literally done is stabbed a hole for my brushes to go in and that keeps them lovely. It means they don't touch each other also means they're not touching the back there's quite a good gap here and I can see them all very clearly no more hunting around for brushes I've got a strip of industrial velcro at the back here which I keep my stencils attached to so you can see I've got um, my snowflake stencil here I've just attached a bit of velcro to the bit that usually goes onto the key ring and when I'm done with it I keep it there it just means that I'm never losing things as I'm painting um, this isn't my original idea, but this is actually a Mega Blocks piece. Um, I can't remember who originally did this, um, but I use this to keep my glitters in. My glitter poofer, liquid bling, and also my um, Star Blend smoothie blenders. Again, these aren't the original blenders, these are printer cleaners, which you can get off eBay as well. I also keep a couple of sponge daubers in here. Um, this is also velcroed in place, I don't know if you can see, there's a bit of 
Velcro down there, which keeps us nice and sturdy in place. This bit of pipe insulation, I've just got a bit of glue gun and glued it there so that stays completely still and that's not going anywhere. So onto the shelf. There's an MDF shelf which comes with a DJ Hero kit. What I've done, I've just trimmed it so it fits into the case a bit better for me. And what I have done is got a piece of, well, just a piece of metal which magnets it to. So a magnetic piece of metal, I don't know. And what I've done is I've attached a couple of hinges. So it's a little lift up shelf. My shelf needed something to rest on, so the hinges hold it in place here and underneath. So I've just got these little wooden brackets which the shelf sits on. Uh, again, I just used a glue gun to hold those in place. I've never had any issues with those. That uh, works really nicely. All of my paints have got magnets on the bottom. So it just means that these don't go anywhere. It's nice and strong and uh, keeps them all nice and neat. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of growing room as well. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, so that's my, that's my paints. I tend to keep my solid colours down the bottom, my outlining colours to my right because I'm left-handed, I like to paint this way. And here's my split cakes and one strokes. Down here, I've got my water bottles and my hand sanitizer and uh, my, my gem glue. Um, again, I've got a bit of Velcro attached to my bottles so they can stick in here, they don't move around. Again, hand sanitizer. I like everything to be stuck in a bit so it doesn't go wandering around. Um, okay, so let's look under the shelf. This is where I keep my bits and bobs which I need. So. I've got my ideas book under there. I've also got my mirrors, which I tend just to pop behind there. I've got a pop-up bin. Goes down and pops back up again. And what I do with this, I hang it on there. I also have business card holder and that sticks a bit of velcro to the top there so I can put my cards in. I've also got my baby wipes, spare mirror, glitter tattoo book 